When people talk about the brain-eating amoeba, what they really mean is Nigliri fowleri. This amoeba lives in fresh waters like ponds and lakes all over the world, and it loves the heat. It loves warm water. The amoeba live in the sediment on the bottom of lakes and ponds. When people stir it up, the amoeba get into the water. What happens is someone goes underwater and this amoeba enters their nose and gets to their brain. It starts out with just headache and fever, nausea and vomiting, but it progresses very quickly to convulsions and hallucinations. This amoeba kills and kills very efficiently. 97% of people who are infected die. On average, they're dead within five days. So especially in late summer, you'll sometimes hear about these infections. In the United States, typically, it's in the southern states. But the chances are incredibly low. From 2005 to 2014, there were 35 reported infections in the United States. When you figure that millions and millions of people swim in warm water, 35 infections is actually a very low risk. It's highly, highly unlikely that you're going to contract a brain-eating amoeba while swimming in fresh water. However, it is possible. So if you want to reduce your risk, just don't go swimming in warm, fresh water. Or if you do, you can hold your nose when you go underwater or use nose clips and try not to stir up the sediment on the bottom. That's where the amoeba live.